Hello YouTube, Loganerix Rance here and this week my video is about the Deputy Prime Minister of Australia, Barnaby Joyce. More specifically, my rant is about the massive scandal involving his hypocritical ass. In this video I'm going to be going over it. With that out of the way, let's begin. First off, a little background. Barnaby Joyce is the leader of the Nationalist Party, one of the parties in Australia. They claim to send up the rural people. Do they really though? No. They are in a coalition with the Liberal Party, kind of a moderate Republican Party in the US with elements of the Tea Party in their extreme right wing. Now, because of this coalition as part of the deal, the Nationals leader is the Deputy Prime Minister. This is how Barnaby Joyce became the Deputy Prime Minister, second to the Malcolm Turnbull, who's our Prime Minister. Back in 2016, when Australia was having their postal survey about whether to legalise same-sex marriage, Barnaby Joyce, being one of the far-right Christian types, that you find a hell of a lot in the States, you also find quite a few in Australia, was campaigning against marriage equality in Australia on family values and preserving the sanctity of marriage. You know, that type of horseshit. So as you can expect from these family value types, he's also a gigantic hypocrite when he's talking about family values and preserving the sanctity of marriage. This is what has started the almighty scandal that will probably eventually lead him to have to leave the Nationals Party. So first off, while he's married to another woman and while he has four children, four daughters, all of whom he has a terrible relationship with. Barnaby Joyce got into a relationship with one of his staffers, Vicky Campion. So just quickly consider what I said earlier about how Barnaby Joyce was rallying against marriage equality on family values and preserving the sanctity of marriage. And yet here he is in a relationship with one of his staffers while already married. Talk about the destruction of both family values and preserving the sanctity of marriage. What Barnaby Joyce is doing here is much more destructive to both of those than marriage equality between gay people and straight people. Now, the finance minister, Matthias Cormann, is the head of the department who oversees the hiring of political staff. The first job that Vicky Campion got was with Mr Joyce and later with Senator Canavan. And when Senator Canavan stepped down from the front bench, while he was awaiting a citizenship ruling from the High Court. If you're wondering, politicians cannot hold federal office if they hold dual citizenship. Once Canavan stepped down, Miss Campion was shifted to the office of then Nationals Whip, Damien Drum. Later on, Barnaby Joyce winds up splitting with his wife so he can be with his fiancée that was working with him, and he even wound up getting her pregnant. I think while he's married to his ex. How's that for family values and preserving the sanctity of marriage? It gets even better because, as I've mentioned already, he's got four daughters that he has a horrible relationship with. Mostly due to spending almost no time with them. Those four daughters are now about my age. And they've never had a good relationship with him. Now, this has caused international humiliation in Australia, and Malcolm Turnbull came out scathing. Quote, Barnaby made a shocking error of judgment in having an affair with a young woman working in his office. In doing so, he set off a world of woe for those women and appalled all of us. Barnaby knows he has made that shocking error of judgment. He knows that he has let down his wife and daughters, and he has apologized for that and to them. That's what Malcolm Turnbull said. All this did, however, was rally the National Party even closer to Barnaby. Though it's starting to look like that that's wearing off and that he may be facing a leadership challenge soon. Now, Barnaby Joyce responded to Malcolm Turnbull. He said, quote, The PM sex ban is unnecessary and all that is going to do is basically pull the scab off to everybody to have a look at, end quote. He also called Malcolm Turnbull inept and he accused him of implied intervention in the party processes of the National Party. 
He goes on to say, quote, We are an independent vertical unit and make our own decisions, especially about those who are the office holders. I will not be making comments about the leadership of the Liberal Party and would not expect comments about the leadership of the National Party. End quote. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. The National Party and the Liberal Party potentially splitting and the Nationals crossing the floor on several important pieces of legislation. That would be huge, especially since the coalition just with both of them together, has a one-seat majority in the House of Representatives. Despite calls from the Nationals to apologise, Malcolm Turnbull has said he has nothing to apologise for. Now, I'm going to say this. The longer this goes on, the worse the entire Coalition Party looks. It really does show that Barnaby Joyce, like a lot of the other people who run on family values and preserving the sanctity of marriage, is a gigantic hypocrite on this. Just like former Prime Minister Tony Abbott, for the record. Seriously, this guy, Barnaby Joyce, was already married to one woman and he had four teenage daughters that he doesn't pay attention to. Then he started a relationship with a second woman that was working for him while still married and he separated from the first woman probably about the time when he got the second woman pregnant. And this is from the same guy who campaigned against marriage equality on the basis of family values and preserving the sanctity of marriage. And yet he is bonking and impregnating his mistress while already married to a woman that he has four daughters with, and then separating from that first woman. Ah, what a piece of shit Barnaby Joyce is. I really hate this type of people and their hypocrisy. It really does disgust me. It makes me sick. Barnaby, fuck off. Seriously, Fuck off. Get the fuck out of politics and fuck off with your sh mistress so you can have your stupid child. That woman, by the way, is young enough to be his daughter. That's even more disturbing. So, that is my video for this week. I hope you found it interesting. Please rate, comment, share and subscribe and have a great day everyone. And fuck Barnaby Joyce.